Gordy. Gordy. As I said, what a dream start. Four pars with a birdie and, a, and I think one bogey. And then it was three or four holes of absolute shite. We're finishing there for this week, for this episode. You're going to have to tune in next week. Do I smash 85 off the blues? Come on, Carlo! Hit a few leaves on the way through. That was not my intended line, but hopefully it's all right. Me, yeah. I'll take two and a half hours to play the first nine holes because of you. Why you sir, not sir, sir, firstly calm down. Why are you not just call us? No, through? sir, firstly calm. Not calm. You fucked no. up my first nine holes. No, sir, do you want to discuss it or not? Do you want to discuss it or not? Did you hear what he said? I fucked up his nine holes. Ridiculous. Yeah, I was trying to get him to calm down so I could say we've been held up yeah. the whole round. I'll get, needs to get. Yeah. Oh, I've pulled it, you know. Is that a gimme? Is that a gimme? Not that one. <laughs> that guy fucked up my, my tent. Bit fat, needs to get up. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Is that worthy of a Carlos? Come on, Carlos! Look where I hit the ground. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Fucking hell. Now I push it. Is that Gibby? Oh, Good putt, mate. Two bogeys, it's all Gary's fault. Well, I got lucky with that birdie because it was Gary's fault as well. Crazy, crazy spin. So if you're only tuning in at episode two of this round, I vlogged the front nine and I left you hanging. Bit of a cliffhanger for this episode. So we've started double bogey and a bogey. We haven't had a par for about seven holes, but we started absolutely fantastic on the front nine. So if you haven't watched that episode yet, go and check that out and then see how we're doing. We're trying to break 85 off the blues, eventually trying to break 80. So if you're not an avid watcher and subscriber, originally I set myself a two year challenge to break 80, but I was going off the whites. I smashed it, shot a 73. Now we're trying to break 80 going off the blues. All right, here we are. It was a bit of a high, spinny, spazzy slice off the tee. We're now going to try and get this one down there, set ourselves up, hopefully, for a nice little wedge in. Lovely strike. This is the miss that Sorrell says I have a massive pull. That's indicative, I suppose, of a massively steep swing out to in. We spaz it into the jungle. Penalty shot. Well, everyone's saying, what a shot, what a shot, but I caught that massively off the toe. But luckily, I clubbed up because I didn't want to be short, because if I hit the bank, we're 40 yards away from the green. So I think we could be on the pin. Come on, Carter! No, it's not. Come on, Carter! Woo! We saved the par, Nutty! A wet par. See, par's come out of nowhere. I was going to hit mine so much harder than that, until I saw that. Felt like a birdie, that one. That's huge, that. Finally, Natty! Finally a par. It came out of nowhere, but finally a par. 
Let's follow that up with a birdie, Natty. Yeah, see Nick come die. Massively off the toe. Natty, worthy of a card of spaz? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> We're super close for a birdie opportunity. Oh, I hit it right off the toe. Oh, that wasn't even close. No, I hit it there. I... But I, I saw the, I saw the freaking club out there. That was again six inches behind the ball. And we haven't cleared the bunker. I think we're in it. Oh, it's painful, Carter. Stop. Jet, mate. Everywhere. That's it. That's it. Yeah, Bill. Roll that ball. Oh, dirty. <laughs> Where did you go? By the rock. Yeah, getting low. Middle. You're not going to. See that part again. That's huge, that. That's what we needed for this. Yeah. So that was 110 club speed. That's huge. Off the back. Pretty good efficiency, ball not speed. bad. One fast seven ball speed, carry two seconds. That was an absolute spaz, that one. I'll just take a, a screenshot of that. That was huge, that. Yeah. So I. Nighty sotne. All right, the pressure was on. Gary pl Sorrell plonked down the GC quad, which is what we've been using at Little Chippers. If you haven't been to Little Chippers and you live in Phuket, please go and check it out. It's a great studio. Sorrell is really cool, gives you loads of help and advice as well. For free, he's a good guy. And that was an absolute spaz. It was about a 270 carry, 110 club head speed. Smash factor was about 1.48, I think it was. So that was an absolute spaz. Come on, Carter! Take that par. <laughs> My favourite hole in the whole wide world. If you're an avid watcher and subscriber, you will know that this is my favourite hole in the whole wide world. Come on, Connor. Two bogeys, it's all Gary's fault. Excuse me. Yeah. I'll take two and a half hours to play the first nine holes because of you. Why you sir, not sir, sir, firstly calm down. Why are you not just call us No, through? sir, firstly calm. I'm not calm. You fucked no. up my first nine holes. No, sir. Do you want to discuss it or not? Do you want to discuss it or not? What a twat. <laughs>